everyone. Welcome to the Astronomy Update for July 8, 2020. Uh, my name is Austin Edminster. I'm the Planetarium Operator and STEM Educator at Ella Sharp Museum. Uh, you might notice that I'm in a bit of a different locale than usual. I thought it'd be really cool with uh, Nate to sort of film with this new painted backdrop on their stage at Iron Bar Brewery. This was painted by local artists Paige McCaffney and Michael Maloney. I really love the vibe it's got going, especially for our Astronomy Update. You might also have heard that Iron Bark and Ella Sharp Museum are collaborating on a beer that's been inspired by Ella Sharp herself and the farm that she lived on. This peach and cream ale will be available at Iron Bark Brewery and Ella Sharp Museum's patio parties starting on July 9th, 2020. So keep an eye out for that. Let's get started with the astronomy update. Today's update is going to be all about the Perseverance rover set to launch in the coming weeks. Perseverance has a launch window within late July or early August. As of now, the date is set for July 30th, 2020. The rover will be packed into the nose of an Atlas V rocket, capable of propelling the rover to Mars. The timing is ideal, as both planet Earth and Mars are currently on the same side of the Sun, making it the shortest distance between the two worlds, nearly 50 million miles which is much better than waiting until they are opposite sides of the solar system, 234 million miles apart. After about seven months of travel, Perseverance will reach the red planet around February 18th, 2021. Upon arrival, the rover's capsule will enter Mars's thin atmosphere and begin the landing procedure. Perseverance will follow a similar landing procedure to the Curiosity rover, after a brief slowing in the atmosphere, the capsule will use a parachute to guide it closer to the ground. Eventually, the parachute piece will detach and a flight module will guide the rover down to a safe height where the rover will be craned down onto the surface directly onto its wheels. However, this mission will fly with cameras that use photos of the ground to precisely aim and adjust the rover's final descent. This is going to help it avoid any obstacles, or if they don't happen to be exactly where they want to be, they can fix that. And it's going to be one of the most accurate landings uh, in Mars robot history. So once it's there, what are Perseverance's main goals? There's so much to explore on Mars and only so much rover, and that means scientists have to be choosy with what can fit on the rover. We also have over 40 Mars robotic missions worth of knowledge to help guide us. And with the future of Mars in mind, the mission will not only explore Mars, but test technologies that might aid further exploration and technologies that provide resources for any future Mars astronauts. Perseverance will transport seven experiments around the Jezero crater of Mars, pictured here, along with 23 cameras. This location was selected because Jezero Crater shows multiple signs of a history of water. You can see in this picture here, very obvious flows of rivers depositing clay and sediment in very familiar ways that we have here on Earth. And the clay regions would be ideal for finding evidence for a history of microbial life. Scientists also know that the rivers traded places with periods of dryness and also periods of where it was a lake. Lots of cool stuff was happening here, and this amount of dynamic changes is also an interesting thing scientifically. Each experiment is especially designed to take advantage of the surrounding environment. One experiment, known as RIMFAX, will use radar to look beneath the Martian surface, studying the local geology and looking for water. MITA, comprised of dozens of little sensors across the rover, will measure wind, temperature, air content, and more uh, basically like a local weather station. Pixel will use x-rays to determine the composition of Martian dirt and rocks on the surface. Sherlock and Supercam will look for signs of organic compounds essential to life as we know it. Now Pixel and Sherlock are located on that extendable arm on the rover and that's so they can look close on the ground or at a hard to reach spot for the wheels while the Supercam is designed to look slightly at a distance giving them different perspectives on the same thing. You might also notice on the front center of the Perseverance rover is a little round shape, and that's where uh, sediment that's collected and drilled from the ground will be deposited for later to be brought back to Earth so that scientists can study Martian soil in person. 
Perseverance will have two trial technologies to test as well. It would be extremely difficult to transport enough air for humans to survive on Mars. So MOXIE is designed to turn the thin carbon dioxide atmosphere into breathable air. Finally, the small helicopter, Ingenuity, tucked under its belly, is ready to test the first powered flight on Mars. Now personally, I'm really excited to follow along with Perseverance's journey. I remember staying up after midnight almost eight years ago to see if Curiosity made it to Mars. I've seen more photos of Mars than I can count, but it's exhilarating to see those first landing photos just like the one seen here. Curiosity has done so much to enhance our understanding of Mars, and I can't wait to see what new knowledge and other curiosities Perseverance will discover on its journey. All the photos and information you've seen here can be found at nasa.gov slash mars2020, along with links to many of NASA's past Mars missions and what they learned on Mars. Please leave any comments or questions you have in the comments. I'd love to talk with you about it. Thanks for joining us for another astronomy update. I'll hope to see you next week and clear skies.